All right. Boy, that's it. Hey, does anyone here play poker? <laughs> Old maid, little fish, maybe? <laughs> Tell you why I ask. I was in a bar the other day. Normally I don't go to bars, but my car broke down. I had to make a phone call. I won't go into all that. But these two guys were cutting for a high card. Now, the one guy was very good because every time he would take the deck and cut it, darned if he wouldn't get a high one, like an ace. The cardiovascular ace, to be specific. The other guy, he wasn't too good. He'd always get low ones. But this one guy was so good, he'd always get a high one, like the Ace of Clover. Legend has it that this guy could take the deck with merely one hand, cut the deck, and cut to a high one. That's three. We have one to go. The big digger, El Jefe, as they say south of the border. Watch very carefully. Can actually, on a good day, turn my head, cut exactly 32 cards. Right? Yes, exactly 32 cards without looking. Isn't that fast to get four aces? Hey, thanks. Hold it. That's okay, but hold it. That's nothing. I'll show you the hard way. No, really, I was just got back from California in 1976. <laughs> and on the way back, I met this very interesting gentleman on the train. We happened to be sharing the same boxcar together, and I showed him this very same trick. And he said that that was the second fastest he had ever seen. However, I never showed him the other way, which kind of looks like that. And that gives you one. Oh! Has anyone seen me pop many cards? Be honest if you have. Hiding cards in my hand. Gamblers use it. Magicians use it. Nobody? Okay, let me explain what happens. A gambler can lay the deck down and actually steal a card, and they do a move like this so that the hand looks empty, but everyone knows they have a card. That's the old way. The new way is much more difficult because it's invisible. You do this part, now the hand looks empty. I open the fingers, do a move like this just to pretend, make a fist. Now, wouldn't you think if I had a card in that hand, it would be damaged? The card, not the hand. <laughs> no, but look when I place it back on the deck, you'll see it's perfectly flat. No damage to that card at all. Innovative magic by Carol. <coughs> the invisible pop. I can tell you're totally underwhelmed with my development. <laughs> Let me prove it to you in a trick, if you don't mind. Okay, would you like to, for me to prove that, in fact, the invisible palm does exist? Yes. Okay, great. We'll use the four aces. Now watch very carefully. The big digger will be the leader ace. We'll put that on Lou's side. Now, Cindy, watch these three very carefully because I'm going to palm one of the aces off the deck into the hand. Of course, you can't see the ace until I lay it down. Then it's perfectly flat, leaving me with the two red ones here. What would I have on the table if those two are red, say black? Black. Right. See, it's fun and it's easy. Two black, which are what? Spades and clubs, right? Watch again the invisible palm super slowly. You really don't see the ace until I lay it down. That's three, leaving me with just one, the cardiovascular ace or the heart. Cindy, what would I have on the table if that's the heart? Excellent. Two blacks and a red. Watch the ace of heart as I execute what we call in magic the Hofzinger air pressure, steal into the palm, vanish. Air pressure shoots the card into the hand. You'll notice the ace is gone, but I switch hands, come down, believe it or not, I get one, two, three.